hi and welcome to another video so this time i will be fixing my old laptop which is a lenovo z51 and the problem with this is the hard disk which is starting to act weird so i'll show a video while i while i copy the data explaining and in the description i'll put another link to another youtuber's video which explains in more detail what is happening so basically the hard disk is showing signs that it's going bad and I will replace it with an SSD. So after I'll play the video I will start disassembling this one. Alright, so as you can see I'm not doing anything and the hard disk is at 100%. It's just this thing open, nothing else. And hope you can hear. Let's see. I think it's quite obvious. Alright, so the problem appears to be sometimes only because now I'm copying all of the data from the hard drive and it looks normal and it's not making any sounds. So I'm still going to replace it with an SSD to improve performance and we'll see after that what happens. Alright, so using this PH1 bit which is a plus bit, let's say like this, a Philips bit. We'll have to remove these two screws holding the keyboard. So I will remove them and I can't film the whole process because I don't have any space to put my camera down. Okay, so the next step after removing the screws is to pry the keyboard from up of the top. And let's see if I can remove it. Okay, so I'll be back after, but don't pry too hard because there are two connections that I will show. Okay, so after removing the keyboard, it got stuck again. Okay, so now you see there are two connections here. You have to lift the black thing up and the cable will come out. And this one you simply pull it out, but easily. So now the keyboard is removed. And now, if you want to remove the disk drive, I think it's this one, but I don't necessarily need to remove it. So I'll remove the top one and the bottom one, which will hold the case, then flip it over and remove the rest of the bolts. So I decided to remove this one also because it might be uh, holding from the back cover also, but I'm not gonna remove the disk drive. So now let's flip it over. It's quite hard with one hand. And now we have to remove the screws from here, here, and then here, four on the bottom side, and again one up here. So I'll remove all of these now. All right, so with all of the screws removed, we'll start from the corners and try to lift the cover. Okay, and we can lift the back cover. So let me place it and I'll show you. Alright, so it has a little bit of dust, which is to be expected. And this here is the hard disk that I'm gonna swap out for an SSD. So 
from what I can see it has four screws one here one here one here and one here and we'll have to remove the cable that goes across it so let's start with this cable we lift the black thing and the cable just lifts so I leave it in place here and now I'll have to remove the four bolts holding this hard disk back here but first let me grab the SSD that I have ordered and let's open that thing okay, so here I have the SSD so let me take this out because it has my personal information so here should be our SSD kit and okay let me open it off camera because I can't with one hand okay so I managed to cut it open now let's take out the box from the inside and that's everything so it's an SSD and let me show you more details about it don't know what you can see here but let's open this one second so here is the ssd and some cable and the box is empty and here we should have some instructions on how to install it okay and it comes with a screwdriver and some screws in here which is very good so let me take everything apart and take a look at what we have Okay, so I have it out, you can see it's a 480 gig SSD, the original hard disk was 1 tera, but you know, it's a little bit smaller but a lot faster. So if I put it like this, it should align perfectly with the connector and the screw holes from up here should align with this from the support that we have to put it in. So, and also it comes with four screws and a universal screw screwdriver, which I have a few of, but I still use mine, which is this one, because I liked it a lot better. And I had a magnet, a magnet here to remove the screws. So now we have to take the four screws out that I have mentioned early and then remove the hard disk from the laptop. Okay, so I have removed the screws. Now we can simply slide this hard disk out. I'm also doing this for the first time, so I might do some things wrong here. So here you can see that this was one terabyte. And now I think we have to remove the old support in order to put it on the SSD. So I'm gonna remove the screws, take the support out and then show you how to fit it on the, on the other one. So I have swapped the shield on the SSD in order to put it in place and I have also cleaned all of the dust and as, it, as you can see the fan is spinning, is spinning freely but if you put a little bit of pressure it's binding something and I don't know if that was the sound or not but anyway an SSD upgrade it's an upgrade it will make the laptop faster and overall maintain the lifespan of this device. So if the fan is doing something weird, I'm gonna disassemble it another time and replace the fan. But for now, the SSD should fit right as the hard disk came out. So let me put it back in place and show you. Alright, so it fits perfectly. Now let's connect the cable and put the four screws back. Alright, so now that everything is in place, I will put the back cover and if you take a look here where the the CD writer is 
Here is the screw that holds the CD writer and I was right to remove it because it holds on the back cover. So now I need to flip this and press it in place. Right, so before adding any screws, I want to flip the laptop, put the keyboard and test see if this thing powers on. Right, so I have placed the three screws back and I don't need a keyboard, I can just press the power button and let's see what it says. This product's power, okay, okay. No bootable device so it doesn't have an operating system but it seems to work so I have turned it down okay now let's flip it back over put the screws put the keyboard and I'll see you guys when trying to install an operating system right so everything is in place and I have here an original Windows 10 USB stick, which I have bought when I have purchased the laptop a while back. Okay, so it's inserted. Let's turn it on and let's see if it boots from the stick. And it does. I'll choose Windows 64 bit. And I'm not gonna show you guys how to install a Windows because it's quite simple. And I'll be back to show that the SSD is recognized by my computer. Alright, so you can see we only have drive 0 which has 447 gigs and this is our SSD. We are going to select it and then next and I will finish the Windows installation and show you guys that it works. Alright, so as you can see we have here the SSD. It's working fine. You can see right here in the title that it says SSD 480 gig. And the laptop is dead silent, except the fan. Now I have to do the updates, install some programs, and I'm finished. But for you guys, this is the end. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it was my first time doing such an update. And I think it was easier than fixing phones. What do you think? Leave a comment.